We're out and about on our Tuesday adventures at C&G. Those of you that follow us, you know that um, Tuesdays are usually a newbie day and lots of you wait for these videos to come. It's a bit of a warm one today guys, so we're just chilling and just taking it um, nice and steady. But we're out on um, Petunia arrivals. Kyle is on Elkie and I'm on Reuben. So Alki um, it arrived with us, both of them arrived, oh, steady, skidding, both, oh, wise boy, he took me in the middle, both of these two arrived um, last night, they actually arrived together, they're not from the same home, um, but they were collected and arrived at the same time, we're just passing uh, the donkey patch here and the goats and everything else, so Alki arrived, um, fairly local from us and hi she's been on the same home for the past five years she's a, a nice tall cop she's a good 50 and 2 maybe even sort of hi maybe even sort of 53 um but bearing in mind kyle is six foot two guys i feel like a broken record when i say that but you just got to remember there's many people that watch these videos that perhaps haven't um seen them before or are new to CNG so just like to get that in also when you're videoing from another horse onto another horse it always makes the horse and the camera look slightly smaller so Elki has come from um as I say fairly local she's been in the same home for the past five years maybe even six years I'll double check that um and she's now rising 15. Ruben's having a little look at the goats so um she's been there done it got the t-shirt this mare has done everything very very sad to say able to let her go and i feel very grateful that we were able to buy her hi um yeah so i feel very lucky that um she was offered to us I'm very grateful um, and a good friend, a very good friend of mine actually knows Elkie very well and has looked after Elkie over the years. So she came, I keep trying to come to the side so you can, you can see her. Uh, she came with a fantastic reference, total confidence to home Elkie here at CNG to offer her to you guys when they come with such glowing references that is the one thing we try and pride all the horses with is as much history and information as we can um so as i said she arrived yesterday um she went straight into the field because we were just outnumbered a little bit on the um on the numbers of horses at the moment in stable so she went into the field um she's absolutely fine with others not a bother at all settled very nicely in the field um this morning we've caught her she stood in for an hour and had a bit of hay and then um tacked up and off we've got okay can you ride to the right slightly so i can just get her in the camera now she is hogged she's not got a sweet itch guys but she has got a little bit of sunburn on a freshly hogged mane obviously she was hogged and then the sun has come down but she doesn't itch um at all we turned her out last night just in a fly mask as we are doing with them now nothing else um but she's she's hogged for appearance um it would probably suit really to take her feathers off as well because she's not a heavily legged cob actually um i mean she's got enough bone and she's going to carry a taller and slightly heavier rider if necessary but she's not a heavy heavy cob so you could just take those feathers off and she would just look that look a bit sportier um or you could equally you could grow her mane and you could make her look that bit more traditional now elki when i say she's been there done it got the t-shirt she literally has guys she's not just been used to sort of hacking about she's actually been used um to her full potential a cob with a job um and her owners have thoroughly enjoyed her she's done um cross country show jumping lots and lots of local events fun rides clinics she's always been out and about and she does everything out there that your riding horse will do so she's got the um the safety and all the good parts of being your native your cob 
um, breathing, but she's actually, as I say, she'll do everything that um, a riding horse will do. She hacks out on her own in company. She literally has not looked at a single thing. The way you can see her in the video now is the way she's hacked the whole way. We've been past um, tractors that are bailing at the moment. We've had motorbikes, rattly um, trailers. Um, we've had quite a lot past her. She's literally, as you can see Kyle riding, just on that easy, well, I can't even say it's easy rain. He's just sitting there with his hands rested on a neck. So that is what he's, he is actually just piloting a passenger. And that's how she's hacked. And bearing in mind, guys, this is her first hack here. You know, you've got to allow them a bit of leeway on the first hack, but just look at her. But that is the beauty of getting a horse with well, that's a little bit older, with um, all the miles on the clock, an experience, a wealth of experience. Oh, I'm just dropping my reins. A wealth of experience to give to her next home. As I say, it was extremely sad sale and um, we are honoured to be able to have Elke here and it is our responsibility to find her the absolute best home. Um, which is obviously always our aim with all of our horses but you know when you've got one that's been such a good um I hate to use the word servant it's a bit of a figure of a speech when you say servant to her owner um but you know what i mean guys but when you find one that's been so loyal and gives so much enjoyment that you know we really do owe it her to find her a good home um the only reason she was sold is because now her rider would like to step up a gear in, in the competing ranks and being on a livery sometimes you've only got you've only got the option and the finance to keep one horse so um as i say it's our responsibility to find this lovely lovely mare a good home i don't think it's going to be difficult guys those of you that want a horse that you can just take home, get on and go and do everything or anything on her without any problems. And you know, you won't all need me to tell you, it's virtually impossible to find horses of her size. You know, the cobs are very, very difficult to find. Anything 15, two and above um, is almost non-existent so um i do as uh the best i can to find these bigger cops guys and you know we much prefer one with some experience than than a younger one with no experience so this is elke she is going to be in the purple heart range the lower end of the purple heart range guys but um you know these cobs have got some real good value so keep an eye out for more videos, feel free to ask questions and hopefully you'll see more of our LT. Thanks guys.